doggies. <sighs> Are we rolling? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We're rolling already. We're fucking rolling, boys. Look, you need to get an air conditioner in this fucking trailer, man. Happy Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Woo. Today is July 1st. Happy Canada Day, everybody. Woo! Hope you're as fucked as we are. I am fucking ripped. We gotta do an official start to this, boys. We just can't get into doing that. Why don't you officially start taking a big haul oh, off my nuts? Fuck me. No, I'm gonna. All right, this is the Trailer Park Boys podcast. It's coming at you. I think this is episode 48. You don't have a fucking clue what episode it is. 49. Episode 48. Yeah. You could take a big hydraulic sock on my nuts. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, if you put a wig on, maybe. Get it? It doesn't mean anything if it's on Canada today, that's what they say. <laughs> Who says that, Ricky? Uh, Nobody. Canada man. Special guest on the podcast today, it's Jacob, the Twiggy Alien Man. Try not to say anything too dumb, Jacob. He's fucking right, he's special. How you doing, Jacob? You right out of her? Good, well, just getting started. Don't um, too many of her beers, I'll catch up. All right. Cool. Well, get Trent here, Jacob. Can you open... Do you know how to open beers? No, not a quest off, bud. Jesus Christ. I can do it. No, let Jacob do right. it. Your I want to see what he, if he understands the principle of leverage. We have Jacob trying to open a beer using a lighter. My dad taught me this a long time ago. I'll move it. Oh, oh, okay. Fuck, fuck get it. Right on. Nice Jesus. work, Jacob. Anyone else need their beer open? <laughs> fuck off, Jacob. Philadelphia oh. Collins knew what the fuck he was doing when he opened the beer. He did. Know what he was doing, didn't he? I can't look at you guys with that shit on your heads. Where's your hat? Oh, you fucking party pooter. This? You want me to put this fucking thing on? Yes. No. Just put it on no, for a fuck second. It, fuck it. It's weird shit like look that. Look who doesn't like Canada, hey? Oh, I hey, love fuck, fucking just Canada. Just put it on over there. All right, there. there. Yay, Canada Day. Fucking fuck the off. only country in the world where the world gets a fucking holiday for us. No, it's not, Ricky. What do you mean? Other countries have holidays for their countries. Yeah, July 4th, America July. Day. Yeah, but we don't have that. What's a July 4th called? Independence Day? Independence Day, I think, yeah. Just like the movie. It was named after the movie. Must have been. Buffs, you're drunk. I am. I'm <laughs> fucking right out of her. Cheers, buddy. Day and I'm you. not ashamed to say it, because it's the birthday of Canada, the greatest country in the world. Yeah. It's definitely one of them. No, it is the greatest one, Ricky. I haven't been to all of them. So we're celebrating here. We got some <clears throat> fucking pizza. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> and, boys, I mean, for all these necessary, that's about 10 pounds of donair right there. You know we what? got it's four Canada Day. Super Canada Day donairs right. here. right. Fucking only happens a couple times a year, so fuck it, we're celebrating. For people out there that don't know what a donair is, it's a big fucking food pill meat log. Look at the grease that's dripped out of it just from it sitting in the bowl. That's donair sauce, man. That's grease. It's getting warm. It's fucking awesome. Getting right liquidy. For those of you who don't know here, I'm going to open one up and show you what a donair looks like. There's a lot of fucking grease on these ones. Sure, they're not subs. They look like fucking subs. No, they're not subs. Don't hear them. That's overkill. Holy shit, mackerel! Jesus, Murphy! Look at this thing. It's just sopping with sauce. Sauce and grease. Oh, just the fucking Murphy. way it was meant you know, to be. We should just save them. Let Brandy have like a fucking don't air eat off competition. We'll throw money on it. Get everybody in the park fucking betting on it. I guarantee you, Randy could eat all four of those in an hour. Let me back. just show you. I'll open up the donair. Jeez. I'll just show you what's in there. Look at that. That me. is oh, a donair. Man. You know what that reminds me of? Mess. Reminds me of your mom. What's that supposed to mean? Well, she kind of looks like that and smells like that. Her <laughs> whole body or just a certain part of it? Yes. Certain parts you might want to stay away from. What are you talking about? Are you referring to my mother's private area? Your mom's got a don't air box. It's kind of don't air box, buddy. <laughs> That's Spicy, terrible. drippy, greasy, full of like bits of vegetables and shit that she stores away down there. It's always stuffed full of meat. Bon appetit, bud. 
That's a terrible thing to say, Julian. Layers and layers of shaved beef. That's just a terrible thing to say. Well, I don't say anything about your mother being the biggest whore in the park. That's real nice. Well, I mean, that's just a fact. You You've don't know what my mother's mother. privates look like, You've but it's a fact that your mother was the biggest whore in Sunnyvale. Yeah, that's what but Everybody said. knows it. Nobody knows that. Oh, shit. <laughs> i get on this pizza yeah. action. Yeah, help yourself. That was kind of a piece I wanted, Jacob. All right, you owe me five or, bucks, by the way. Five bucks a slice. You're not charging Jacob five bucks. You Why can't, because it's Canada Day. It's fucking can, can he, Canada Day. The, well, what, what is everything that's free on Canada Day? It's when you fucking help other people out and party together. And that's right. He's paying me five bucks. He's going to help me out. <sighs> you just eat it, Jacob. I'll deal with him. You're not paying right. five bucks. You owe me five bucks then, bubs. Whoa. Almost knocked the beer over. Okay, can we get this thing started? Or? Yeah, are we gonna. What is Canada Day? I've heard a lot of different reasons. It was the holiday, it was Canada Man. It celebrates him, is that right? Canada Man? Superhero. Oh my fuck, Ricky. Ricky, what the fuck are you talking about? Hey, Captain Canuck. Is that who it is? Captain. Jake, why don't we get Jacob to explain the whole Canada Day thing? Jeez. I think we learned this. In don't blow school. a gasket now, Jacob. Just in don't school. strain yourself, but see what you think. It's um, Captain Canuck's birthday, isn't it? Oh, Jesus. I thought Canada Man he was a superhero over in the English land, and he fucking did something that made them free, so they said, fuck, you know what? There's a bunch of land over there across the water, and you can have it for what you did for us. So Canada Man came over to what is now Canada and started everything. Canada Man. Canada Man, a superhero. That's Who told I mean. you about a superhero named Canada Man, Ray? Let me Let me guess, Ray. Well, he had a few drinks with him, but I remember we celebrated Canada Day when I was like fucking eight, and he was telling me about Canada Man. Ricky, I gotta say, like anything Ray's ever taught you, just try to forget it. Probably best. Pretty much everything he's ever everything. said. Just try to forget it. What is it then, smarty ass? Canada Where the fuck Day. is Canada Day? It's when Canada was founded. Right, by fucking Canada man, probably. No. Who was it then? It was founded by, you know, different people. Tommy Cousteau? Tommy Cousteau. I don't know who Tommy Cousteau is. Christopher Columbus was one of the first guys over here. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Fred uh, Cabot. Fred, Fred Cabot. Cabot. Yeah, there's a tower named after him somewhere, isn't there? The Cabot Trail? Oh. Or is there, I thought it was a... in Cape Breton, man. Wasn't there a fucking big Cabot building somewhere? Cabot building? Fuck, boys, I don't know. I hear lots of things. Maybe I heard it wrong. Isn't John A. McDonald's one of the founding... Dudes? He's a bridge, I know that. Mm. <laughs> He's not a bridge, He's not the bridge is named after him. What's that? John A. McDonald was a person, the bridge was named after him. The bridge isn't John A. McDonald. It says when you're driving up, John A. McDonald. That's the they named dash, the bridge, bridge. There's, there's two bridges. Tell you, there is his name and dash, he's a bridge. Okay, there's two bridges. That's the old bridge. So John A. McDonald, they named it after him. What bridge? The McDonald Bridge. <laughs> no, it's the Angus L. McDonald. Oh, it's the Angus L. McDonald. Okay. I was the bridge isn't wrong. even named after Sir John A. McDonald. See? I'm getting wow. Whatever that was a big fuck up. In. What Enjoy. bridge are you talking about? I don't know. It's the Angus L. McDonald and A. Murray McKay. I was talking about the bridge between your fucking balls and your ass. What's that called? This Johnny McDonald Bridge. See, he was the first guy that ever went down there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked him. Had at it. Sucking on your choda. <laughs> John A. McDonald went down there, did he, Ricky? No, you. No, he didn't. <laughs> Don't be starting rumors. Rootsing around the taint area. John A. McDonald never touched my taint with any part of his body. I can guarantee you. Nor has any man. Did he just blow oh, air shit. on it? Nor has any man. <laughs> Ever touched my taint? I know somebody that's touched your taint. Who? You uh, when no, I was sleeping? No, his uh, his name, it, well, it's GF. In jail. Girlfriend. 
No. Nope. GF. Jerry. He. Gorilla fingers. Don't. He never touched my oh, taint. He was reaching around down there, rubbing your taint and lifting your ball sack up, fingering your ass. He did everything. <laughs> we all know. It. Don't that, mean I'd like you to just cease this. Hey, you, what are you right doing? Now? You, I'm just telling everybody what they want to hear. You've it was very traumatic what Gorilla Fingers did to me. I know. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. It's called therapy, man. You just let it out. We'll fucking help you out. So I stand corrected. One man did touch my taint. And fingered your ass. <laughs> <laughs> three fingers. Like huge fingers. Which probably led to something else. But... Yep. Yeah. Sucking. Yeah. Who else? Well, I don't know. Fuck knows what else. It's all right, Bubs. It's Canada. You can talk about this stuff. That's right, man. <laughs> You guys are fucking with me because I'm high. This is what could be our who's where did this come from? Thirty six D light fuel facts about Canada. Delightful. Not D light fuel. Delight fuel. Delight fuel. Delight fuel. Delight fuel, Ricky. People in Church Hill leave their car doors unlocked in case their neighbors neighbors need to make a quick Escape from polar bears. What? <coughs> from where? So we were, polar polar bears. Yeah, but where are these people live? Church Hill. Never heard of that place. No, oh, man. Must be up north. <laughs> There's also a prison for polar bears who break into people's homes for food. A prison for polar bears. That's what's saying, man. I had no idea. Frankie, where did you get that information? No cows in Canada are given artificial hormones. For milk production. Fucking good for Canada. That's awesome. I know. I that's didn't true. know that. Is it, you say it's not true? I I don't know if that's true. I I thought there was lots of hormones in our milk in Canada. But if if the papers say it. We're not talking about your right. mother's tits. We're talking about cows here. <laughs> There's lots of hormones in those. She's got wow. I stand corrected. <laughs> really? Huge, huge Went, bongs. Uh, hey, you know what would be a funny there. joke? How do you make a hormone? I don't know, but there's a good punchline waiting there. How, How do you, you make do? one? How do you make a hormone? You eat her box. No. <laughs> I know what oh, you're I saying. Oh, I got it. A hooker. Yeah, got it. Get it? Just, I oh. wasn't thinking quite so graphic. I was thinking more of you. Pound the bejesus out of a her. A family oriented Bend joke. Bend over and give it to her, man. <laughs> it's a great joke, Bubs. For one day in 1943, Ottawa designated a hospital room to be. Can you read that for him, Jake? Wow, who am I telling to read? Jesus. Extraterrestri extraterritorial. Ah. And then brackets. Inter international. Ground. So a Dutch princess could be born a full Dutch citizen. What? These are fucked facts. Who the fuck? Tell me that one again. Read it. I lost you when you had to fucking... They changed uh, the border? They changed the fucking hospital room to put a border around it so that she could be born... Dutch citizen. Oh, so they put a... So it was like a consulate then, wasn't it? Is that what it was like? Or... No, I think it's fucking just, bullshit is what it one is. The one room in the hospital, they declared that sovereign That's ground fucked. For... I don't agree with that whatsoever. That if so she can do it, we should all be able to do it. We should be able to be born whoever the fuck we want to be born. Well, look, it says something else here. This was a Dutch requirement for her to keep her princess title. Jacob, who gives so, a fuck? Okay, we're done that one. Just, just put, the, put the paper oh, down. Okay. So, if, yeah, see... That Jesus. might come in handy for you, Jacob. We could, you know, get a place here cordoned off for your own planet up there and, you know, say you were born on Earth. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. He's got no fucking idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, just, you know, huh? nothing. Bubbles and Julian, especially Bubbles, think that you're a fucking alien, just so you know. Huh? Yeah. Jacob? Just do this. Put your finger on and say ET phone home for me, please. Just, just do it once. Put the finger up. Shut up. Why? Why not? That. Just Jacob, put the fucking finger up. E.T. phone home. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now there's a part B. I can't believe we just did that. After I dissed the fuck out of them and was pissed off, I didn't know this part. Every year after that, the fucking Netherlands sends Canada thousands of tulips to show their great gratitude. Why? So, they sent us a bunch of tulips? Because they fucking did. They broke every goddamn law in the world to make her a fucking citizen of the Dutch. So, so we get a like, bunch of Thanks tulips. for doing that. 
It's quite a shitty debt, actually. Especially yeah, like we changed the whole fucking border and made a sovereign room in there so that your little princess could be born wherever they needed well, to be born, and all we get is some tulips. Boys, okay, that's fucked, but it's not that big of a deal. They would have had this contract, someone would have signed it. Boom. It's not as if it's they put so, You don't think it's a big walls. deal to take a piece of Canada and go, oh, by the way, this is officially the Netherlands. It's a hospital room. It's not like it's a piece of fucking land or a park or something. It's still a big deal. Let me see you get a fucking, you know, let me see you cordon this off and make a deal with China that this is going to be China right here. I bet you I could do it. Well, imagine being the stupid fucking tulip guys going, this is fucked. Like, for how many years now we've been doing this? And every spring you got to fucking take all the tulips and send them over to us. Yeah, well, I mean, what's, what's the big deal with the fucking tulips over there? We were there. There was tulips for sale, like, everywhere. Tul like, who's buying all these tulips? Dumb. Whoever buys flowers is stupid. What's better than a rose on your piano? Tulips on your organ. <laughs> I don't get it. Get it, Ricky? Two no. lips. Two lips, lips on your organ. The organ. A rose on your piano, or a tulips on your organ, but it means two lips on your organ. Oh, Organ's got two oh like these lips. Yes, on this your organ. organ. Got it, Jacob's buddy. Got a look. He's on this one right yeah. here. That's funny. Yeah. Craft dinner is a top-selling grocery item in the country. Canadians consume 55% more business than Americans do. What the fuck happened to you, man? <laughs> I'm ready, uh, what, what was that? What just happened? Here, wave. Canadians consume 55% Mushroom wave. <laughs> 55% more than Americans. <laughs> Did you dinner. eat all those mushrooms? I took a bunch of them. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Here, let him read some more. Yeah, huh? that was mm. <laughs> no, no, no. The quality of their tap water is often better than bottled water. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck off. You go over to Prince Edward Island, the water's shit over there now, man. Really? Oh, it's from all the fucking fertilizers and stuff. How can you... tap water be better than bottled water? Isn't bottled water real water? Well, tap water's got, like, you know, shit in it to help you out, like... What's in top water? Chloride. Chlor chlorine. Why the fuck do people drink bottled water then in Canada if it's shittier than fucking top well, water? No, Let's just see certain places, people, man. Ricky. On average. <laughs> you still want bottled yeah, water. Yeah, see, that's, they fucking trick you with words. There's trick words, you know, in our language. Like what? Name me some trick words. Often. Mm, that could mean often. often. One in ten, one in a hundred, ten in... Ten, it's a fucking trick word. Well, it's just that's what the word. It's like sometimes. Like one is that. Right. It's a trick word. It's not a trick Good word. One, it Julian. just means sometimes something will happen. Sometimes it won't. Ricky, you're freaking I, me out. I never really thought of these trick words well, before. Don't get into it, man. They are kind of they, tricky. They though. are tricky, but don't get into it. The Canadian Mint. Do we know who those guys are? Yes, the green flavory fellas. All right. Well, the flavor fellas also created a million-dollar coin that is actually usable. A million-dollar coin. And actually here is not a true word. It means it's real. Here, let me see that. Where's that at? Where do they, where do they have these million-dollar coins? You want to get one, Julian? A million I dollar fucking coin. love to get one, man. It's a good fucking goal for you to have. How big is it, do you think? It would be... I don't know. It's a good question, Jacob. How that big is a good Julian? question? That's a very good question. question. And what's it made out of? It's worth a million bucks? Because that'll determine whether you can... That'll determine whether you can smuggle it in your anus. It's got to be gold or something. It's got to be gold or something. It's going to be something. It's going to be something gold. more than gold. It's probably ass. something from the planet Zeltor that you brought back with you. <laughs> Some rare mineral. <laughs> Zeltor 16. <laughs> but I tell you, that's just something you you always want to check your fucking change, though, because one of these days you'll be like, holy fuck. Ricky, I don't Found think anybody's going to misplace the fucking thing. Well, might. If, if looked, he had one, he would. What if it looked like a 25 cent coin and you just said, fuck? Ricky, I'm pretty sure it's whoever like owns it's going to have it in a special like. case. This dinosaur here is on one of the a, a special quarter that glows in the dark. What? Yeah. Well, that's not the million dollar coin? No. That's just a shitty old fucking quarter. Ricky, it remember that time you tried to bang the toaster and your bird was glowing in the dark? Bubs, why would you talk about that right now? It's all right. You're 12, man. It doesn't matter. It's a funny 12, story. Man, Banging all kinds of things. The toaster, though, that was kind of fucked. It was actually a sandwich in the toaster that I was 
attempting to figure a, out a how it felt. Meat sandwich? It was tuna. Toasted tuna sandwich. He was trying to bang it in the slot. So, was he up on top of the counter? Yes, I walked in and he was laying right up on the counter. <laughs> and he tried to tell me he tripped. he tripped. I said, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, I was walking across the kitchen. I tripped and all my clothes fell off. That's what he tried to tell me. When I'm really drunk, it's bad to be horny and hungry at the same time. Ricky, you were only 12, though. Like, how drunk could you have been? I fucking had a... Almost a pint in me. Bare yeah, ass was, naked he was. That was banging a lot. the toaster. He didn't even realize he could have electrocuted himself through. I wasn't banging it. I just was curious to how the fuck it would feel. Oh, a little bit were, of heat. You were banging it. Come on. You just don't stick your fucking dick in a sandwich that's in a toaster, man, for no reason. You're definitely banging. Here's one. Jacob, what's the craziest thing you've ever banged? This should be interesting. I once touched a nine volt battery to my bird. A nine volt battery. What happened? Nothing. It felt kind of fuzzy. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, like when you stick it to your tongue? Let's do it. It was huge. <laughs> don't, you, don't you know that feeling? I don't think I've Dude. ever done it. So you, you took it, like, in, what, in it a bit? Inside the piss hole? Oh, no, no. I, I wet down the bird to get some current and right. then touched it to the side to try to, like, the shaft. get some sensation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why were you doing that? So you put in effort to go <laughs> wet down your wiener and touch a nine volt battery to your shaft. It's sensation. Sensation, no, that's fucked. What, did you see that on TV or something or did you just, that fucked? Well, I felt this in, like how it felt on my tongue. Ooh, and just ooh thought, that feels great. God, I wonder what that feels like on my wiener. So did you it's have like position in your hand so it was like touching it, you were jacking at the same time? Or did you just want, you were just touching it? it I, I just, Held it to it, yeah. It wasn't. It, it wasn't very You're enjoyable. You're very so interested I, in this. You. No, it's just completely fucked that he would very do something like that. <laughs> I've never heard of it before in my life, man. Try to make sure I said anything. Very interested. Fuck, oh, that's a weird coincidence. What's that? Nine volt battery. All right, go Did for you it, Jacob. Under your tongue? I didn't. It, I did it once, and oh, that I was enough for me. To my tongue. This isn't the one that was on your bird. I hope. I don't think so. It was a while ago. Just in case. Cleaning, huh? Jesus, there's a little carrot spark. <laughs> Here, Ricky. Jam her on there, bud. I don't think I can do it. Here, just wait. I'm going to try this wiener trick. I'm going to try this wiener trick. you got to wet your wiener a bit first. Too. you got to wet, wet his bit. wiener for him? Oh, Ricky, go, don't pour beer on my weenus. It's supposed to be wet. Here, let me just... What did you call it, a weenus? Here, let's get this... On the side of my bird's oh, here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Do that again, son. Fuck him. Julian, how'd that taste? an asshole. How'd that taste, Julian? Yeah, real funny. <laughs> that is a good trick, Jacob. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Oh, wiener battery. What's the weirdest thing you ever banged, Julian? Your mom? <laughs> oh, man, yeah. that was fucking not cool. Yeah, you were totally set Old Donaire cooch. Yep, she did have a don't air cooch. I caught Corey banging a bucket of chicken once. That was pretty fucked. A bucket of chicken. Mm -hmm. I was there, Ricky. I remember that. The extra crispy shit, too. That must yeah. have fucking hurt. He was all scraped up. Well, it is crispy. He said Trevor dared chicken. him, but I think he was just doing it for the fuck of it. Yep. You know, I heard chicken's supposed to be realistic, but I don't know if fried chicken is. Real realistic? What do you mean? I heard if you put chicken in a bottle and microwave it and then put your bird in there, it feels like a... Like the real thing. What? You, know what you put your you put chicken in what? A, like I think chicken breasts in yeah. uh, some sort of vessel so they're contained. A vessel, <laughs> like a bottle. Okay. And then I guess you want to heat them up as well. Um, I never tried it, but I heard about it. You know, it was a long time ago. So does this? Yeah. He's not a fucking I've got to fucking try that. So does everybody on your it's planet realistic. do this? They fuck a ball of chicken. That's no, I, I don't. I, I, Jesus what am I saying? Christ. I, I, if you rolled the talking. chicken breast, if you had a big enough one, you rolled it around in a tubular shape. Well, he's basically just describing a military pocket pussy. Field pussy, they call it. <laughs> oh. And then you could eat it. You I Google guess if it. You, wanted to afterwards, you Google military field pussy and you see how you build one. It's not chicken breast, though. No, but you could, in a bag you could in add a chicken breast to it, you know, as a side plate. You know how it says on the menu add chicken $2. 
So did you, like, did you ever use a pocket pussy out in the field? You were in Afghanistan, right? I, no, I never used one over there. I put bullshit. I saw them over you, there. You I were saw in great, when you were telling us about it, you were in great de detail. Of what, of what I it watched was. a guy demonstrate how to make one, but and then you used it. I did not use it. You just use your bare hand? Yep. I don't talk about that stuff. Jacob, you probably know about this, and maybe Bubs does too, because he wanted to be an astronaut. A part of the country of Canada actually has less gravity than the rest of Earth. Yeah, Jacob knows that. It's called the landing strip for him. <laughs> I like landing strips. What do you mean? <laughs> landing strip. Why do you like landing strips? Yeah, well, isn't that a name for something else? What? It's where planes land. It's where you land on a lady. Oh, he means when she's got the... <laughs> of the little landing strip. Yeah, yeah just a little yeah. something, something. Instead of, you know... <laughs> I've never seen one. I'm starting to get fucking sober, boys. This is lame. Yeah, maybe it's, uh... How come you didn't read out any of your shit? What oh, shit? I'm too fucking drunk, Ricky. Here, Julian. I can't, I can't... You, gotta you can't get read? This, this fucking don't air shit away from me, man. It's gonna make me sick. It is fucked. It is fucked. You know, we should fuck over these don't airs and then give them to Randy. We okay, it's happy Canada Day. Here you go, bud. We should cram one into his heater, into his electric heater. Not tell Okay, him. we've got four of them. We can put one in the heater. We should do something to one of them. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Like, we should put turds or something in it, maybe. Heat it up. Mash it up a little bit and feed it to him. Kung Fu Master stuffed sawdust into his mouth and sets a light in Bizarre Street Magic Trick. Where did you get this? I have you? no idea. It was on the table. Well, who gives a fuck? What is he doing? What is this stuff? Yeah, let's see what else we got there, man. Put fucking something in his mouth and lit it on fire, but I mean, Ricky does that every weekend. Yeah, that's fucked. So I've been cares? looking for cool shit on the internet here? This is crazy. Remember, Ricky, remember the time you shot the, that great big firework out of your mouth? You know the big, the big one that goes up, you know... Six, seven hundred feet and blows apart. Yeah. Ricky blasted it right out of his mouth. It was fucked. He was all burned all over here. Yeah, they don't fucking warn you about that when they sell them to you, do they? Well, they say you gotta <laughs> put them in the fucking ground, man, with oh. sand and shit. Ricky, if somebody hands you a fucking ignitable, launchable rocket about that big, they assume that you're not gonna hold it with your mouth. But it shouldn't matter. It's supposed to come out one end, not have all this fucking other shit down at the bottom with burn and black, and it sucked. They're fireworks, man. They gotta go up, Ricky. Propulsion, you gotta light the bottom. Dude. As a general rule, don't put the big ones in your mouth. The little ones. The oh, one. there's a general rule for you, eh, Julie? Yeah. Don't put the big ones in your mouth. You just like the small ones in there. <laughs> oh, fuck. I get it now. Trek words, Ricky. Trek words. Here, here's a good one for you. What? Massive fart gets soccer player kicked out of game. <laughs> no way. That can't be real. You'd never be able to play soccer, but you'd be kicked out all the time. Oh, listen who's talking. Yeah, man. Fucking Gary Belchford. There's a story here about a zombie dog in nice. uh, New Hampshire. A zombie Check dog? No such fucking no such thing as zombie There's a picture dogs. of it. Oh, so it must fucked. be real. Must be real if there's a picture of it. Yeah. Never heard of anything like Photoshop. Yeah, it looks pretty fucked. Most likely a zombie coyote. Zombie coyote. Boys, there's no zombie anything. Oh, fucking, it had pups, so there's gonna be a bunch of zombies. Jesus. That's cool. Hopefully they take over down there. You would like the zombie dogs to take over, would you? Be a good story. The yeah, hunter's not too far away from here, man. Oh, fuck, okay. It's, if zombie dogs took over New Hampshire, they'd fucking have control of us in about four days. I can guarantee you, if you figure in the average speed of a zombie dog. Yeah, they'd fuck you up. All they gotta do is bite into you and fuck, you're and then, a zombie. And then you're a zombie. Can I have a last beer, last beer here, guys? Bite you or fuck catch you. up? Bite you. Yeah, go cool. ahead, right. Jacob. Yeah, I guess. Did I guess. you taste the last one? You dirty. You guys 20, are 20 bucks all together. Down. 10 bucks a beer. And five bucks for pizza. Right. Up, Take it off. I will, I will.
Do you want to buy a Donair? For later. All right. Five bucks for the Donair. Oh, nice. Good deal. Thirty bucks, bud. All right. What else are we talking about? Is that it, boys? I just I want to start partying, like. Big time. You should, because you've been fucking lean. Well, because I'm pissy here. Like, I got don't airs in front of my face and shit, Fuck man. I just want to start drinking hard and get out of her. Well, oh, here's... I'm up for it. You guys are. What are we up for, guys? We're just going to get shit-faced. Jacob, you're not invited. No offense. Bro. Here's something fucked. An Ontario, an Ontario man invented Hawaiian pizza. Who would have thought? Well, that's not that what fucking shit. amazing, Ricky. Well, I thought, thought, thought it was fucking, from Hawaii, at least. No, it's Hawaiian means it's... There's you know. pineapple on it. But do they even eat fucking Hawaiian pizza in Hawaii? Or is it just a fucking sham? I'd say they eat Hawaiian pizza in, in Hawaii. It's man. probably just called pizza. It's probably just what a fucking... pizza, exactly. What the fuck, see? Just like, you know, I bet you never thought of this, Ricky. <clears throat> you know what they call Chinese food in China? Chinese food? No, they just call it food. Lunch. What? They don't need to say Chinese food because they're from there, so they just call it food. Let's go get some food. So when they come over here, they go, let's get some Canadian food. Mm. That's right. So if there was a burger joint in China, it would be called Canadian food restaurant. Perhaps, yeah, maybe. Could be. I think this fucking guy in Ontario gave that name away to another country. Should have kept a Canadian name. Like what? <clears throat> Canadian ham and pineapple. Or, uh, Aww. they did they have like the, the or, Canadian uh, fucking, pizza. uh, jungle. The, ju the what? Canadian jungle pizza. It's because he can't grow pineapples or jungle? ham. Where's, the, where's there a jungle in Canada? Well, if jungles have pigs and fucking pineapples, pigs, mm -hmm. they, they have maybe wild boars and shit. They don't got like fucking pigs, man. Same Big fucking pig. animal, bud. They got monkeys and shit in the jungle. Huh? Pineapples don't generally grow in the jungle, Ricky. Where do they grow then? In fucking on a sand? No, they grow out of the ground. Like a fucking cucumber. Yes, like a cucumber. Yes, like a cucumber. No, they don't. They fucking grow on trees. I've seen them. No, you're, you're thinking about a coconut. Same tree, though. <laughs> no? Isn't a oh, fuck. Yeah, that's super tree. You know what? Grows. Maybe I fucking got that wrong. No, already. no, that's super tree, Rick. He grows pineapples, coconuts, and apples and oranges. One seed you plant and you get her all. I fuck Jesus, that up. that'd be a good idea. I've been fucking that up it's for a lot of years. Happen, man. I think you a pineapple could, plant you know, just grows one pineapple out of the does. middle of these, like, a bunch of spikes. It does. It on the grows interweb. one pineapple. It's like it's, you know. Well, look at the big brain on fucking Jacob, huh? But I'm, I'm sure I've seen pineapple wood. Ask Jeeves. Pineapple wood. No. I oh, yeah, that. Ricky, everybody. That's the new fad for the floors. Pineapple wood. It's good for smoking. You're Smoke your smoking. meats. I smell some weed or something. Someone's outside smoking. Well, let's go out. It's let's probably get fucking all hairy. Up. All right, let's do it. Can smell you, Harry. Happy Canada, Happy Canada Day. Day. Fuck oh, off. Who was I sponsored today? Oh, it's the fuck. Who else? The Don't merch company. East Coast Donairs. No, He's look, I think they can take the one from I said before, so watch here, I'll say Paper it. towel. Watch this. Okay, do it. Beer. Today's podcast is brought to you by Liquorman's Old Dirty Canadian Whiskey and the TBB Merch Store. Find it at HTTPS colon backslash backslash trailer dash park dash boys dot backstreet merch dot com. There, now you'll just put it in and it'll right be on. seamless. Awesome. Won't even oh. Buy some shit. Drink some booze, get high. It's Canada Day. Well, I'm going. Bye bye, guys. Where are you going, man? I'm going to get drunk and high. So With who? Myself. If you guys want to join me, come on out. Do you got any booze? Ricky, look, I'm a big van just pulled in. It's full of firefighters. Fuck off, Bubs. I heard you. Big van full of firefighters and Speedos just pulled in. <laughs> Julia took right off. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> 